So the finals, almost done with its third season, had its ups and downs, had its mental breakdown in the community. But now there's a teaser trailer and there's a blog post with a whole bunch of stuff about season four. And even just in the teaser stuff, they've already addressed like a lot of stuff people were asking for. So I mean, say what you want about whatever specific decision they made in the past. Like they're not tone deaf. We can't say that for a lot of devs dev teams and if you haven't played in a minute or at all i'm gonna run the backstory real quick i'm just gonna speed run it so beta launch right tournaments quick cash bank it that's what it is december of last year rolls around they officially launched the game off a trailer just like play now there was no release date following that they were like the game is out right now they had a halloween event this is like the season zero launch phase still and then in season one smoking guns event which was like an old western thing steal the spotlight solos with heavies they had like a cool cosmetic you can get for free with it some community events New map was Vegas and people calling the game dead because it fell out of its honeymoon phase, essentially. Then in season two, another new map, CS, not CS, Cis Horizon. And then the whole theme of it was like a hacking theme. This group called CNS had some new guns like the FAMAS and the KS-23. The new map was Power Shift. That was like a payload thing. And they had an event called Bunny Bash for Easter, which was also in that Power Shift mode. And then they introduced Terminal Attack later in the season, which is a certain destroy mode. And they had the Discord quest because those are a thing now. Then in season three, terminal attack, that search mod I just mentioned, becomes the ranked mode. And this is where the messy, nasty breakdown of the community happens. Actually, not even in season three. It was in season two it got announced. That's where the breakdown happened. People were just, some people, not everybody. Some people were like harassing the devs, sending death threats and all this stuff over a mode change. A mode change that at first I was pretty neutral about. I'm always just like, I'll try it first before I like really... I have a feeling one way or the other, but you know, a lot of people didn't like it from the jump and they hated it. And then they were like, oh, the games, ah, that's, it was odd. I mean, I'll need to get a grip. Ultimately, I don't think it was the right decision, but I'll appreciate them taking the risk instead of just staying stagnant. One of those has just pure negative outcome. So you might as well just take the risk. But besides that, three community events and a sporty spirit thing for the Olympics during one of the new mode stops world tour. That was like the new home of cash out tournaments since ranked was now terminal attack. And world tour, it's not really ranked because you can't lose points, you can only gain. But once you hit Emerald, you only gain points by winning the entire tournament, making out the first round in Emerald, which is the fourth rank up. It don't matter if you get out the first round, like you have to win the entire thing or you get nothing. Did I skip over some stuff? Yes, but that's why it's speed run. And now we are here with the season four trailer. Had a whole bunch of stuff. The cover of it was made it pretty obvious that the heavy has dual deagles. In a one little snapshot, they showed the medium having what looked like a semi-auto DMR type. I was kind of hoping for like a bolt action. I think that would have been good. And in the light, I can't tell. I genuinely cannot tell. So if you know, comment it because I really don't know what that weapon is, but I think it's definitely new. I don't even want to say definitely. It's probably new based off how they were holding it, but I don't know. The new map is Fortune Stadium, which has different sections for the other new thing, which is the sponsors. So one thing the community always brought up was like, what if we had the sponsors in the game as like you could pick one? Like if you play 2K at some point, how they had the park affiliation is like that. You pick one, that's who you rock with for the time being. So you got Holto, you got Isul. I already forgot the other one. And Enjimo. I'm picking Holto because the CEO is a black man. Yes, that's the whole reason. I'm not joking. And on top of that, Terminal Attack is not ranked anymore. They're going back to rank cash out tournaments. Terminal Attack is going to be a quick play mode only. And then World Tour is still also going to be there. So you're going to have quick play with Power Shift, Bank It, Quick Cash, and Terminal Attack. You're going to have World Tour as another thing. And you're also going to have ranked cash out tournaments. And then like the firing range in the tutorial, which is also getting reworked. And then in a separate article I was reading about it, apparently they're going to work on the optimization of the game even more, which is good because sometimes I'll run at 100 something frames, sometimes I'll run at 60 without changing the settings and it's a little odd. So that would help. The game's always been pretty CPU heavy if you play on PC. Like my GPU is just chilling. I just run it at high graphics and lose no frames at all. So that'd be cool. But yeah, the sponsor tracks, that's something people have wanted for a while. I think everyone's wanted new weapons that are viable. I like using the FAMAS. I feel like you can make the FAMAS work the most out of any of the new guns that have been added. But like the KS, not really. The Spear of Season 3, I forgot to mention the Season 3 weapons somehow, but Season 3 they had the bow for the light, the spear for the heavy, and dual katanas for the medium. None of them are viable to be honest with you. If you want to use a spear, like just from pure like performance standpoint, the sledgehammer is a better melee weapon than the spear. When it comes to long range, 
the LH1 and the sniper are better than the bow. And then with the katanas, melee on the medium, I don't know how that how that'll work. So I mean, it's cool to have gimmick weapons. The game is like very much fun focused. I'm not against them adding it, but I think after two seasons of most of the guns, with the exception of the Famas being buffed and the Scar being nerfed, you just need some that are viable that change up what's being used like on the regular as far as like the people you're running into not just what you're using so i feel like the dmr will be good for that the dual deagles kind of depends on how they operate as far as like damage fall off and what range you can use them at because if they're like the revolver on the medium where it's only close range and crazy damage fall off a distance i don't think they'll be that that great but if they got some range they kind of act as like the model on uh, the model shotgun on the medium might be a weird comparison but as far as like how precise you have to be but like when you when it works like like you can just decimate people i think that'd be a good way to go oh one last thing i forgot to mention they're adding sights at least one they show the akm with a sight on it so at bare minimum the akm has a sight which i mean there are some guns that definitely need a sight i didn't think the akm was one i feel like i do fine like they add it makes it easier cool i think it'd also be cool if you had the option to take it off take it off like the mp5 whatever it's actually called and the scar or the f car be able to take the sights off i feel like that i know the mp5 didn't always have a sight in one of the closed betas i don't remember the scar having one or being iron sights ever but it'd be nice like for the guns that already have a scope ability to take it off and then they add scopes for the guns that don't as far as multiple like 1x 2x 3x all that i'd imagine it's just going to be for the guns that do get a scope added it's probably just going to be one but who knows they haven't actually said anything about it yet so we'll see doing this they addressed like a couple big community concerns as far as the game mainly terminal attack being ranked and changing the back to rank cash out i'm glad they tried it and they definitely experimented with world tour over the season so i feel like it was still helpful but yeah, rank cash out, way to go. The sponsors have been an idea that was brought up by, I don't even know how many people at this point to like pinpoint one person, but that being a separate career track was always something that people wanted. And then sights on the guns has always been mentioned since the betas. Glad that they're able to like recognize their mistakes and learn from them. It's not just like, we're always right or we're just gonna be tone deaf. Like no, we're, we're still gonna try things because it is ultimately our game, but we're just gonna be open as far as what we're doing and why we're doing it. Like when they said that terminal attack being ranked was for the sake of making changes to cash out, I'm like, I didn't end up enjoying terminal attack, but it, I can see where they're coming from a lot more than they just did it thinking that was gonna be the mode. They can't learn if they're stagnant, but for the ranked tournaments, I feel like it should be the final round of how a tournament is now, but like every round. So just two teams playing quick cash pretty much. And then World Tour would have, I would think like the four teams, like the more hectic fights. I feel like it would fit a lot more that way because we've already had ranked and unranked tournaments, which is essentially what this is. We've already had that in the beginning. The ranked tournaments were, it was actually at one more round than it is now. So when in that, it took a while. And then the unranked tournaments were the tournaments we have now as far as the number of rounds. And they ended up taking out the unranked tournaments and just shortening the ranked ones because nobody was really playing the unranked. It wasn't really a point. There wasn't any rewards attached to it like World Tour has. So to go back to that in a way, because World Tour does have rewards, I would think that there's going to be some kind of like clear distinction between the two as far as how they play. Because if they're super similar, it's going to be like, what's the advantage of playing one or the other? Or are people going to have to grind both if they want an emerald gun and a diamond gun, for instance? Because if ranked tournaments stay how they are right now, as far as four teams, you kind of see, well, like the Twitch rivals. There was one team that was stacked above everybody else, like clear cut, and they were getting avoided. And when they would fight, they would win their gunfights, but like they were getting avoided because people knew like, we're not scrapping with them. We're going to go scrap with all the other people. But if it's only two teams every round, you can't do that. That's what I think they should do. It probably won't be the case. So I'm just kind of interested to see what they're going to do as far as making them different from each other, or if they are just going to be super similar. But in any case, is season four going to like full on save the game? In my opinion, no. I don't really have like a doomsday mentality when it comes to finals or games in general. I feel like that's pretty tiring. I think the game has more room to grow, but if it's not at like super top of the charts, everybody's talking about it like on a high, like a Fortnite or an Apex, it's fine. A lot of people were saying the game was dead when they came down from the honeymoon phase, but like games have that all the time. Bro, Power World peaked at like 2.2 mil. That game is not dead. It's just not on that. It's not on Saturn anymore. That's okay. I do think the changes will definitely help as far as 
one being in some people back that maybe used to play a lot and then just getting new people interested in the game especially if it's someone that wants to play rank because rank terminal attack was kind of off-putting but then for people who don't want to play rank they have all the options in quick play i guess they're doing something with the new player experience with the tutorial i think i mentioned that earlier and then there's still world tour which is has the tournaments but it's not as they don't put as much stakes on it per round so yeah i think it's a good direction overall for the game to grow and just like i just care that it's healthy i don't care if it's like the biggest thing out i really don't i just care that the game is healthy i'll be making more content for season four i was experimenting for a little while it ain't work at all it's fine until then if you are carrying a little bit of that doom and glue when it comes to games i dropped a video so you can enjoy your hobby again it can put a smile on your face the video is right here bye